Hello. Today we're going to talk about inserting text boxes and shapes. So these are two completely different things, but they're both linked under the Drawing Tools formatting tab. I'll show you what that means in a minute. So let's start with text boxes, because they're probably the more common tool in Excel. So they're under the Insert tab, and they are over here in the text area. Right here's text box. I click on text box. Notice my cursor turns into this weird kind of I'm not sure what that is, but if you click and drag, you just drew a text box. And so in a text box, this is where you write a message like, uh, hello world. Right? And so if you wanted to format that text, you're free to format it however you want to format it. Right? I'm here under the home tab, growing my font, right? bolding my font, changing my font. Right? All the normal tools you would want to use are there. So let's head on over to Drawing Tools. So Drawing Tools is this orange contextual tab over here. So if I really wanted to do anything else, so some common operations I do to text boxes are sometimes I will fill the shape, just kind of give it a light color to make it stand out a little bit, because when it's white on white, it's kind of hard to tell what's going on. Maybe you want to put an outline on it, which is really just another word for border. So here's a border weight. Right, here's a border color, and sometimes maybe you want to apply a shape effect like a shadow. Right now my text box is looking pretty fancy. Uh, I think of these a little bit kind of like comments. They're just straight a graphical element to give the user something to work with, so that's a text box. Of course you got all these styles and rotations and all of these tools, uh, your sizing tools over here. That's, that's text boxes in a nutshell. They're pretty useful, I do use them. Let's talk about inserting shapes. All right, so inserting shapes, I guess that'd be something you'd do off of the insert tab. It's here over here in the illustrations group. I'm just gonna go to shapes. You've got like 100 shapes here. This is the same menu you get in Word. Let's say I wanna do a uh, star. They're named by the number of points, so I go 16 point star. I click and drag to draw it, right? So nothing happens, you're specifying the size. Once I let go, there's my shape. By default, you just start typing. And as you can see, the size of the shape is pretty much independent from your font. So, man, I'm gonna select my font. And you know, I can use the shortcut toolbar, but I like to just go here to show you where it is, grow my font, do whatever I want to do. Uh, I'm hoping if I grow it enough, you'll see it just kind of doesn't display. So it's kind of dependent on the shape itself. You see how the word world is getting cut off. If that's the case, well, you just need to resize your shape. All right? so notice formatting the text is not that difficult to do. Right? I just kind of work with it like it's normal text. So the thing that these two things have in common are drawing tools, right? So while this is a shape and this is a text box and they're pretty different, the tools which you have to format them are exactly the same. Have a look at that for, for a text box and have a look at that for a shape. All right, if you want to change the color of the shape, you change the color of the shape. Um, the shape outline is kind of an interesting one. Do pay attention to this no outline and no fill color because that's a pretty easy one to look past. If you ever wanted to get rid of a color or get rid of a border, that's how that's done. And so there's some more advanced operations we can do, but for the purposes of this video, that's a shape and that's a text box. Thanks for watching.